Hi, and welcome to today's June 22nd stimulus package update. If you're a subscribed member of my community, hey, happy Monday. If you're not, subscribe right now so I can give you updates and other smart money tips. Okay, now Senator Coons has publicly stated that he is shocked by the slow pace of the Senate to do more stimulus. The Senate continues to try to find balance between the need to have liability protection for businesses that could be sued and go out of business because of the virus and giving too much liability protection to businesses that do little or nothing to protect their employees or their customers. Some analysts have said that this is incredibly important, important to have in place, while others say that it isn't important as many of these lawsuits will be a waste of time and not result in a win since it will be very hard to prove that you were damaged by the virus from a single point of origin. So far, most lawsuits have been against hospitals, meatpacking plants, cruise ships, and nursing homes. So it, it's not been maybe as big of a deal, but a lot of the businesses are still closed at this point. A new bill has been introduced by the name of Prioritized Paycheck Protection Act. This seeks to help businesses that have less than 100 employees uh, with a large emphasis on businesses that have less than 10 employees. Senator Portman, who introduced the idea of the $450 back to week work bonus with a short period of time, has said that the $600 per week unemployment will not be renewed, but that some level of additional unemployment help will be, and the back to work help uh, will we'll be there to help people get back to work as starting a new position from a negative position uh, has additional cost. So he says that that is still pushing in the right direction. Uh, as of right now, the two main ideas for getting people back to work are a short time of $450 per week or a $1,200 bonus for going back to work. Sadly, not much is being said about those that have stayed on working or those that have already gone back to work, uh, but there also isn't much being said against this group. So I, I hate that they're not talking about it, but they're also not negatively talking about it. Uh, the final bill will let us know uh, where each group of the economy will, will be helped. Uh, one thing I like about the essential workers and the back to work bonus language is that the money goes to the individual. Now, some of you may or may not remember this, but after the Great Recession, any kind of back-to-work bonus program that was available, the money stayed with the business and not with the individual. So I like that this is focused on the individual. Hey, if you found this video helpful up to this point, will you give it a like so that YouTube will share it with others? And please share this on social media. Uh, Yasmin from the community asks, if there is a second stimulus approved for the people, will we have to jump through a lot of hoops to claim this money like we did last time? Uh, I don't think so. I think the Treasury and the IRS have learned a lot about how to push money out to people in the last 90 days. So uh, once that is approved, I believe that the, the money will flow at a much quicker rate than it did last time. Uh, the, the efficiency has gotten better over time, unfortunately. Um, you know, there, there was a lot of hurdles for them to clear. Um, I, one thing I do want to point out is though it, to us, it did seem like it took a long time for money to get out. Money did start flowing to people within 11 weeks of the crisis. After the great recession, it took over 80 weeks for them to start sending financial assistance. So one eighth of the time, um, again, I, I, I wish that it had moved faster and I wish that they had just been pushing money out on a regular basis, but I can't control the government and neither can you. So uh, as of right now, it appears that the Moving America Forward Act will be voted upon before the July 4th break. Uh, this is the massive infrastructure bill that I've been speaking about on my past few updates. Uh, it appears that both sides of the table are in agreement on this bill and the large amount of jobs that it would create. However, there is still some negotiating that has to happen on whether this will be 1 trillion or 1.5 trillion, whether it will be a separate bill or whether it will be lumped into the HEROES Act. Uh, my best guess is it will be something separate, but it is, it is projected to create millions of jobs 
and put a, a, a massive amount of money into the economy. Now, White House advisor Ken Hassa announced today that he will be leaving the White House. It does not appear that he's leaving over differences, but rather that he was brought back on the team for a 90-day uh, assistance time frame and says that most of the economic crisis he was brought on to help with has been dealt with. Hassett said that the many points of data he was assigned to deal with have been put in order now. His biggest worry is the amount of debt that individuals and businesses had to take on in order to survive the crisis. As of right now, credit card debt is approaching nearly $1 trillion. Now, 90% of this was in place before the crisis, uh, but this is a major point of data that shows that there does need to be more stimulus, and it also speaks to the fact that so many people were living paycheck to paycheck that they needed to live on credit cards. Um, you know, many of you have regularly thanked me for not pushing stocks uh, or investments on you. Although I believe in those and will continue to do videos in the future about that, it has not been my main focus. Uh, I actually personally believe that solving your personal debt uh, situation will be one of the best investments that you could focus on in the next one to four years. Uh, with my private financial coaching clients, this is probably the number one thing that we focus on. So uh, that, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I want to thank uh, the many thousands and thousands and thousands of you that wished me a happy birthday and, uh, and happy Father's Day. It was fun to have my wife sneak onto my account and do that. I hope you enjoyed the Father's Day uh, tribute video that I did and also the uh, video I did on the difference between positivity and optimism over the weekend. Uh, many of your dad jokes were very funny and I, and I appreciated them. Uh, Barbara from the community reminded me that if I will just fart in my wallet, I will never run out of gas money. So thank you for that reminder, Barbara. <laughs> All right, now, hey, I wanna thank you for being in my community. Um, I will continue to bring you updates. Uh, you are amazing. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I just want to thank you for, for being here. If you haven't joined the community, I'm sure that YouTube at this point has put a circle with my face in it. You can click on that and join for free right now. But uh, remember that you are amazing, and I will see you on the next video.